see if that works. Because, yeah, I, I looks like my buttons are all where they need to be. I like that. Let's go pushing buttons. Yeah, you know, I like having the power of the soundboard and other hotkeys right there. What's his name? <laughs> what do you mean, what's his, what's his name? name? That dog. The dog? Oh. Oh. Her name is Den What the dog? Her, her name yeah. is what? Daenerys. Daenerys. I love you, Daenerys. Daenerys dog. Pet that dog. Pet that dog. <laughs> Pet that dog. Can dogs Ooh. roll dice? Because, like, uh, you know, we, we can totally have a dog in D&D. You know, I mean, the there are some tables that have kid. a cat. Dude, that's excited, the Air Bud uh, movie I would watch. You know, there's nothing in the rules that says a dog can't play D and D. I'm ready to hear your recap of <laughs> what was the chaos of last session. Okay, oh, man, uh, from the sky. last session, our intrepid crew assembles in Spades Town. Akise, uh, well, Captain Blackburn shows up with her first mate on a little minor ship uh, if you could even call it a ship more of a dinghy really and strolls into town tall Real. woman a lot for people to take in and we had a doctor fall out of the sky <laughs> we had a orphan get kind of adopted into our pirate crew by a, a fish man and a rabbit lady so all, all in all, th this ragtag crew is coming together. And after a, you know, a very flashy, throw each other into the wall kind of fight at the arena, y'all earned each other's trust and uh, genuine respect. We earned the respect of the crew. The respect of the crew. I don't know, man. Sienna told me that her character didn't trust my character out of game. Mm. Uh, you know what? The respect anymore. earned, maybe not trust. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's because I said that. It's because I said this thing about uh, I, that you didn't have a choice. And, <laughs> <laughs> and her character was like, "Yeah, hey, like the first I, thing you said to me when you met is like, you have to come with me. You don't have a choice." I was like, "Whoa!" Uh, <laughs> pretty right. much what she. Hey, I think Tonga would have like respected like both the challenge, you not backing down, and like you know standing your ground. You know, stayed in your beliefs and everything, your mission. And then, yes. like, after getting put down, you were still like, let's go back again. Like, I was, you know what I mean? I like that in. Yeah, no. I respect it. Absolutely. Yeah. That edits is what we need. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So. Where's where's Lord of Ring? Or I'm right here. Is. Yeah, he's right there. What? Oh, shit. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> as, as you guys have uh, come together and checked out the ship that uh, Chibiusa was in the progress of making, it mostly finished, you discussed with a local uh, shipwright what the general cost would be to finish it and for supplies and everything, which turned out to be a hefty sum of, what was it, 18 million, Barry, to right. finish repair... Uh, putting everything together. And you were discussing plans to procure that last uh, bit of money to set out on the high seas. Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, Tonga, your plan was to go to the... Oh, yeah. Have Rory go and set up a shipment with one of the uh, local merchants to do right. a delivery had, and get some uh, intel. I had made a call to one of my you know, lowly merchant buddies, you know, to see about getting some extra fundage or work. And I, I believe it was him or somebody that told us about the bounty. Yes. I remember uh, when uh, I mentioned yeah. that we may be interested in trying to get that bounty, he seemed a little more inclined yeah. to, to lend an aid in some way. The, the shipwright was interested in how you might be able to obtain a good amount of money to pay for everything and was willing to outfit the ship with some extras if you managed to get that kind of money. So it's some kind of like a like a pseudo deal 
is kind yeah, of Yeah, he's like, hey, you know what? You've been good for it before. If you can pull up the scratch, we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, and then I believe, what time of day would this be? Uh, this would be about sometime around two in the afternoon. Okay, so I send Rory out to meet with one of the big pirate merchants to pick up a job of sorts. Um, ideally, with the intention to, you know, either have him bring the delivery to us or the records of this delivery. Yeah. All right. And where last we left you guys off, you had gone into town with Calgor. Uh, 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 yeah, Calgor, right? The, that's his name. Kilgore. Kilgore. Kil but it's Kelligore. Okay. It's Kelligore. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Tonga and Kelligore have gone into town to obtain uh, supplies. And right, at, running back to my shop to gather what I have there. Yeah, so you, you gathered up your supplies and you're returning back with a cart and everything. And as you did, there a commotion broke out uh in the street, and you noticed a very small, like a maybe five inch tall uh looking person running away from the scene. Five inch? Yes. Tiny man? Who yeah. sees this? Uh, okay. Tonga. Okay. Uh, so I just see like a little a little shape dart yeah. off. Yeah, you, you see the shape of a tiny humanoid running uh, away from the scene. All right. Well, I'm going to you know, take a second and I'm just going to scan the area and I'll kind of get uh, a read of the situation. Okay. There we go. Okay. Stuff kind of see if I can understand like what's going on. Who you know get as much detail from that figure as I can. Yeah, I, I last time you had a pretty good perception roll. That's why you were able to see uh, this little dude oh. in the first place. So uh, as uh, you see him running away from the scene, there you you see uh, over to uh, in the direction it came from. A stall has just uh, completely collapsed, and there. A couple of the locals uh, seem to be having at it. Like one person's accusing another, and uh, the the man with the st at the stall just has this massive beard, and he's just having none of it, and uh, accusing uh, this uh, elderly woman of uh, sabotaging his stall. Like, and just like slowly, like a crowd starting to gather around, and uh, the the shouting match just seems to. Uh, Slowly be escal escalating. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look to Kilgore. I'm gonna say, did you see the small man? What do you mean? I'm gonna kind of like point it out to like in the direction that it went. See, maybe if you can catch it too. I turn I turn my head to the left because I'm in horse form at this point, hauling the wagon with its stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Oh right. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> with your horse perception, did you also see? The tiny... <laughs> what do your horse eyes see? What do you see, see with your horse eyes? <laughs> so I just turned my head, and felt the one good eye I have. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, he doesn't keep what? like one of those little blinder things on on hand. <laughs> Point out where you saw this. Yeah, I was just kind of. I saw it run off, right? So I just yeah. kind of point. Yeah, you, maybe you, if I can get him to see it as it runs by. Where am I at? Um, I believe uh, you guys had set up to kind of tackle two different things at the same time. I. Oh yeah, I stayed with you with the ship. Okay. Yeah, you guys are like doing the repairs that you can. Think. Yeah. Yeah. So assisting with uh, building things up, I suppose. All right. All right. Alright, so Continue. I mean do you do you see it too? Uh you know what, let's uh you're able to point in that general direction. Uh uh Kelligore, make a uh perception check. That could have you shift back. At normal Yeah. How fast? Nineteen. Yep. So 
You uh, look over in the direction, uh, having, you know, right next to Tonga, and you follow uh, his uh, arm as he points, and you just barely uh, catch, like, a flash of, uh, well, it's really more of a blur, but you definitely saw something, uh, like, darting in, in and out in between the legs of people in the crowd. Yep, I saw that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, you catch him. I'll handle this, and I'll kind of walk over <laughs> to the group of people. <laughs> you know, Looks to the horse. You catch him. <laughs> yeah. I got this. Yeah, I think it's, I assume he can shift back. You know, whatever. <laughs> he can. <laughs> he can. Yeah, so I'll be like, like <laughs> I'll be like, I'll leave it to you to catch him because I also assume he's probably faster than. Me. So no, like, Zoan types have like three different forms. So what are the other forms? I, you got hybrid, human, and then full horse. All right. Horse. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to the crowd. I'm just gonna try to calm them. You know, go, ladies, gentlemen, what's going on? What happened? It's okay. Everyone, calm down. This piece of shit went and knocked over my stall. And just uh, you, you see this uh, disgruntled dude with his like a uh, just real ragtaggle of a beard, <laughs> if that's even a word. <laughs> ragtaggle. I like ragtaggle. I like it. I like it. You it recognize me. him as like a, a local merchant. You've seen him a couple times, but not someone that you usually uh, interact with. Is is okay with this claim? Is this something that I'd be like, yeah, I could see him doing this, or I'm like. No, this isn't even like possible. Uh, you know, what? I guess it could be like an insight check. Can I make an insight check? Yeah, yeah, you you can make an insight check. Just on like me reading the situation, his reaction to this, how she, you know, her energy and everything. All right. Yep. Yeah. Go right ahead. Excuse me. There we go. Now I'm back. How bullshit! Am I reading from this situation? <laughs> Roll. Here. Okay, uh, that's a six. What's your bonus? <laughs> uh, plus two, eight. You look at this guy and you're like, mm, maybe I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna look to him and go, Is this true? And uh, the, the guy's like, No, no, I, I, why would I do that? It's uh, honestly, it, it's all it, they think just because that they have a son that's in the zoo pirates. They think they're all you know, it's like, oh, shut the fuck up there, man. And, and, and just like another guy just kind of like yanks him back. And then they just uh, start like squabbling a little bit more. And like more and more people are just kind of like, hey, and they're just like all reaching in there. Like tensions are high. I OK, I would like to. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I need to diffuse. Everybody just needs to calm the fuck down, right? Everybody take a minute. Everybody shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm just gonna, How do you want to do I'm it? kind of cross my arms there for a minute. I'm just going to kind of look at all of them as they argue with each other. I'm going to look at the, the cart or the stall or whatever. How fucked up is the cart? Is it like. Okay, like so. Trash? Uh, trash? Uh, basically, one of the legs, uh, as you uh, look over it, you see that. The right leg of on the front side was just taken out completely, and as such, like the weight of the all the merchandise and mostly fruits and vegetables, uh, just kind of brought it crashing down and cracking it down the center. Okay. So you, you just like see gonna... vegetables and fruits uh, just kind of strewn about in the street. So I'm gonna kind of like, I'm getting a little frustrated at this point. I'm gonna kind of like flare. My lights for a second is going to kind of br uh, begin to, to glow like a dark blue. All right. They're going to flash for a second. And I'm going to use my Apex Predator. Okay, make an intimidation check oh, yeah. with advantage. You're an Apex Predator on the townsfolk. <laughs> Everybody shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Recognize the prince, the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good thing you had the advantage. Yeah. So you go and you just flare right up and like people like whoa, wait, wait a minute. Like and they just kind of like slow slow down. Everyone's attention. 
Papa, Everybody, that man's glowing. Take a seat back and calm down. Me and my friend will investigate the situation. I, try to, I look over to Caligore. Hopefully he's not a horse just running down. The <laughs> you look back at a horse. <laughs> Peter, the horse is Everyone here. take a moment. We can resolve this like civilized people. Kind of look to everyone. I'm going to kind of step away. Good thing he's not people. Yeah. <laughs> they, I assume they they know I'm about Bruh. it. I think yeah, I won't like, put these people down. Like, <laughs> yeah, like a, a few of the people in the crowd just kind of like uh, disperse. They're like, well, I thought I was going to see a fight. And and so they're like, now I'm not. Whatever. And I'm like, going to fight you about it in the arena. <laughs> You're going to fight here. You can either fight me or do it in the arena, bro. Like, that, not with all these businesses and kids and stuff. The uh, the, the guy with the scraggly beard kind of like uh, stares down uh, the uh, younger guy that uh, like him and his uh, mother, like elderly lady, she's, were running the stand. So he goes uh, and he's just like, mm, I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. Eight o'clock, and then he just like turns around and walks away. All right, so I'm gonna walk back to. Okay. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna kind of stay. I'm gonna help them fix it a little. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay and kind of talk to them, kind of get the full story if I can. And while I, I while I kind of trust Caligore to go searching for. Yeah. The other and I just give that that. Uh, aggravated. <laughs> just try, <laughs> try and talk. Try and seem like I'm just a normal horse. <laughs> You're just a like... frustrated huff. <laughs> Go find him. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get Do away. Your horsely duties. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that frustrated huff was to. <laughs> Snyder to unhook the cart. Oh, yes, I got you. Snyder's with us? <laughs> I'm out uh, getting supplies. Oh, yeah, you, you three us? did decide to go together. Uh, I forgot about oh, that. Oh, you, you, I would have also told you to go chase him. So, like, oh. let's go. Come here, go little him. man. <laughs> Catch the young person. Yeah, don't let it get away. <laughs> I kind of just imagined him like a bow legedly, just arms out, just kind of like, all right. <laughs> just Frankensteining it towards the thing. Horse no. and winged man, go catch them. Go. <laughs> yeah, but unless you want everything, all your supplies all over the road, you got to unhook the cart. So that's why I did <laughs> Can that. You just transform back. <laughs> He's like, I can't reach. The, I got hoofs for hands. <laughs> I got these weird cloven thingies for hands. <laughs> it's like it's long gone at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you guys look around. It's just like, uh, you're not sure how you would pick up a trail in this crowd. I spent five minutes diffusing the situation. They're still standing in the street. Like, <laughs> He's just like, I- I- I'm a horse. What do you want me to do? Like, what happened? <laughs> Did you get him? I have this long face because as a horse. Uh huh. As a horse, what? But am I able to, to help them fix the, you know, the stall or whatever? Okay. Uh, make a. Uh... Make an intelligence check. Okay. Just a flat check. For me? Or for him? For him. Man, you you look at this bad. and you're just like... <laughs> not not much of a carpenter. You reckon that uh, Chibi Uso would probably be able to like, uh, like hammer yeah, a couple true. things in there, really. but... You wouldn't even know where to begin. Like it, it's, yeah. it's like a you it's know maybe really buy a new one. I, I'll look to this guy and I'll say, uh, 
if this is truly you know too much trouble for you to fix yourself, if give me some time and I can have this fixed. Uh, well, my my mother would really appreciate that. And she's kinda just kind of like, a, you just see the elderly woman just kind of like picking up all the fruit and vegetables and like uh, kind of like using her uh, apron as a basket to kind of like gather everything up. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to look back to the person that they, you know, called out for doing it. Allegedly. Oh, yeah, this like, guy's I do not. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, I do not think they are to blame for what happened here. So I hope you are able to ease your anger. All can be resolved <laughs> peacefully. He he just kind of like looks at you. He's like, about as peaceful as the blood that'll be shed tonight. <laughs> and then he's just, uh, well, you know what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, fair. I would I would do the same if it were my star. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I can tell you how to live your life. Can you say that to them as a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this horse talks. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I, I got sidetracked with a text message from my uh, co worker. What was that question again? Do you say that to them as a horse? <laughs> yes. I, I, don't, I don't say English. I, horse in horse form, I try to, I try to just grunt. Winnie, whatever it is a horse does, I don't try to talk unless it's just us on the crew. All right. I love the picture Horseless. of like you little <laughs> horse guy. guy. You're like, I'll handle this. You guys go get him. Ten minutes later, I come back. You're still in the street. <laughs> <laughs> just, br- just like okay, let's deliver all the supplies to the ship first. <laughs> what, Priorities. What would I? Do? <laughs> What would I have to roll to pick up the scent? Like, um, I, I are you a dog? Horse. <laughs> Wouldn't it be? Um, blood <laughs> you, you can try. <laughs> I don't think horses are particularly known huh? for their sense of smell. Oh, which way it went, right? So just like follow. <laughs> Because couldn't I do identify as well? Uh, identify is more for like a kind of more a mystical kind of object, or like figuring out what the what properties something might have. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, the scent wouldn't that be an object? No. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> is a scent an object? <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> All right, so, uh, so Kilgore, uh, you are oh, Kilgore. You're you're going into the crowd. You, are you investigating, trying to figure out where this thing went? Yes. Okay. So you're walking through the crowd, and like you're just kind of like bumping people to the side, and people are like, like, what the f- who just lets a horse run around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's leash laws, you know. <laughs> and then you just uh, have like this one uh, half drunk uh, m- pirate just kind of like he's got like the bandana on the baggy pants and like just full open vest he just, just leans over and puts his arm around you he's like you, yeah, you also yeah, have a spider yeah. with you too right what about you do you see anything <laughs> um would I roll for that <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you can make a perception. Actually, I tell you what, both of you can make an investigation check. As uh, Cal uh, Kilgore has the uh, half drunk pirate, just kind of like, "Hey, why the long face?" <laughs> and then like he looks to his buddy, like, uh, "Get it, get it," because he's a horse. <laughs> normal or what happened? Oh, it rolled a normal. I don't know if that's a. 20 or a that's one? A nat, that's a nat that's 20, a 20. Bro. Oh, nat 20. Okay. <laughs> like, it had the little symbol face on it, so... God damn! Th- these are... Vim- <laughs> you guys are really customizing your dice here. <laughs> I didn't All right. for shit. So, <laughs> Snyder, you look oh, into the crowd, you're kind of like a... You, you jump up a little bit. Uh, 
get on uh, Calgore's back and looking over the crowd, you see this little uh, guy kind of like dart in between. And then uh, about, I'd say, 50 feet away, you see a, a, a smoke coming from another stall. Uh, um, uh, uh, Kilgore, it looks like there's, there's a, uh, uh, another smoking stall that way. Points in the direction of the, the smoke billowing above the crowd. Yeah, and a- as you approach it, like, it starts to uh, get thicker and whiter, and then uh, you just start to hear a bit of a commotion, like, someone set my stall on fire! And well, go ahead. Sorry. Well, huh? oh, wh- wh- were you gonna say something? No, I. You were gonna say something, and then I said something, and then I told you to go ahead. And apparently, I was supposed to say something. I, I blame Discord lag for that one. Facts. My my shit's been disconnecting weird. <laughs> it, it can be weird sometimes. I had to change the call from my laptop to my phone. Mm. So, oh, so that's why your camera looks like that. It's not bad, though. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you, you hear shouting. Uh, this guy's like, ah, shit, someone bring me water. Buckets. <laughs> and he, I and just, just I, some, a bit of a commotion over in that at that stall of. And I just grab a bucket that's just sitting in the water trough, bring it over and just kind of go like that and do like a bottle flip type thing. So you, you nudge a, a bucket with your horse uh, nose just like, whoop. Yep. <laughs> okay, this is like 50 feet away. So you're just kind of like dash, you grab a bucket with your nose and you're just like dashing to fling it up with the momentum. <laughs> okay, I want you to make a... Uh, I'm going to say athletics with with a disadvantage because you're using your face. Oh, Let's see what it is. Uh, what's your bonus? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that, that's a two. That's a disadvantage. Okay, you, you go to fling it and it hits a, a young lady in the back of the head. <laughs> And she just like whips right around, and she just like, oh, uh, oh what? Did, did that horse just throw a bucket of water at me? Fuck, <laughs> lady. The other way, with Snyder on my back, saying, "Hey, fire is that way." <laughs> Wait, we gotta go that way, you fucking horse. <laughs> talking horse. Threw a bucket at me, bro. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I'm just. And then she looks down and realizes that her blouse is like all white and like kind of a thin material. And she's like, immediately covers up and just like rushes away. Nice. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> Titties. <laughs> uh. I'm going to hop off uh, Calgore and start moving towards the uh, the commotion and I'll, in hopes of seeing what is going on and not from 50 feet away. All right. And I, I just keep going in the direction that we saw that little person run off. Okay, so you're splitting up here? Yep. yep. Okay. So I want uh, each of you to... Uh, you can either make a perception or an investigation check. I'm going to do a perception. Same. It's disadvantage or normal. And just normal. Because you, you both have like a, you know, destination in mind. Seven. <laughs> Total? I've... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go up four. and like, you're just kind of uh, like, okay, this crowd's a little... Uh, you're trying to like muscle in there and like there's there's like there's too much going on like people are rushing back and forth and like a big burly dude just kind of like muscles uh like pushes you half over and just 
flings a bucket of water onto the stall as like it's kind of come to like a bit of a blaze now on like a one side as the canvas uh, being oil soaked kind of catches flame. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. That's not a good. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> would it, would uh yeah. would me and uh she, I can't I say your name. Chibi. Early. Yeah. Would me and Chibi see this smoke from where we're at? Only now. At the, at the ship. Good question. I would say uh yeah. with yeah. while you're at the ship, you do have a good vantage point because the ships are typically like higher up in elevation that uh make a perception check i'm also you know 12 feet tall so yes, i'm also so, on the ship yeah so and 12 regardless feet tall. <laughs> of the distance i'm just making a normal perception check because you, you'd probably notice with the noise and the sound hey i did it Hell yeah. five well thankfully uh, for this one like eight you you begin to smell something. You're like, is something burning? Like something wafting on the air? Yeah, like look to your left and right. Like something's something's not. You're not sure what's going on, but something doesn't feel right. I'm gonna ask uh, Chibi. I'll be like, Hey, Chibi, do you smell that? Do you feel that? Does it feel weird to you? Can't hear you. Would I smell better than her? I don't know. How's your? I think so. You know what she? Uh, she's got that uh, those keen senses, right? I think that's a uh, one of the mink traits. So I think so. Yeah, you you'd have advantage to roll your perception. Yeah. Rabbits can smell 20 times better than a human. Oh, shit. So, yeah, and that that rings true here. You kind of, like, hop up to uh, the uh, the front of the ship, kind of, like, sniffing around. Hop up. <laughs> and <laughs> looking over in, in the d direction of all the the smell the and the commotion, you, you see some smoke coming from a stall in the far distance and, like, a little licks of flame and uh, a crowd, like, uh, going around. I'm just gonna run. Go there. <laughs> run. You're not gonna Sorry. relay the information. You're just gonna nah. bolt. Nah. <laughs> Wait, come back. As you, as you <laughs> bolt, I'm just gonna be like, "Hey, what's going on? Do I stay, Do I stay here? here? Do I watch the <laughs> shit? Is it gonna be okay? I don't control you." <laughs> it, I, I, I kind of like smile, and then I just like take off after her. All right. That's my TV. <laughs> <laughs> as She's this fast is, too, right? Don't you yeah, just fucking yeah, yeah. book it, it, bro? <laughs> yeah. She's stupidly fast. So, as, as I'm chasing her, I'm like, hey, Jimmy, wait up. I just like picture, I just like behind. hop up, like sniff at the sky. And I just... Yeah, you fucking start leaping off buildings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see. The only reason you're able to keep up and keep sight of her in this crowd is sheerly because you are significantly taller than everyone around you. <laughs> so you have a long stride. The yeah. Long and you can stride. see. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone just in like the, the crowd just gets, is like, whoa, what the fuck? As I pass them. Yeah, and, like, she's just kind of, like, darting in between, like, slipping in and out of uh, the people, like, boom, boom, like, and like, whoa, uh, what, what just went by? And then they, they turn their heads, they and they see, see this just this massive uh, figure of woman barreling uh, down the, <laughs> the street. I picture it's, like, like, Tom and Jerry uh, animation and... style. Like, <laughs> the Transformer movies, <laughs> they're running through the street. One of small three-meter titans from Attack on Titan, just Oh my god, fucking... yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> People are getting out, are clearing out of your way, so that makes it a little easier for you as you're going through. And you catch up to, uh, you catch up to Snyder as uh, he's just trying to like figure out, well, dude, this is, you got a wall of people right here. I I have no idea what the hell is going on. I can't <laughs> fucking see through these people. 
Here, let me help you, and I just pick you up and put you on my shoulder. Uh, oh, uh, uh, hi. <laughs> All right, hi. what's going on here? <laughs> you, you, you look over, and you, you see that uh, some of the uh, local uh, people have, they're throwing buckets of water onto the fire, trying to, and, like, some of them are just, like, taking, like, whatever they can get to just tap out the flames on the uh, oiled canvas. Listen. Here's a question. Yes. Answer. Would my boot be bigger than their buckets? You're, You're going to try to stomp it out. <laughs> well, I was going to fill it with water, but that'll work too. With a size 20 boot. <laughs> Hollow out your shoelace and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, is that what you're going to do? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I want to try and stop it out. And if that don't work, I'll try and fill it with water. Okay. Um, you know what? Make a. I don't even know what kind of check that would be. <laughs> uh, I would probably I'll, I'll let's just say athletics. Athletics? Yeah, because you're just like, you're just getting right down to town, just like boom, boom, right in there. Oh. I may, if I roll that, I'll probably destroy whatever the fuck is burning. <laughs> Very <laughs> likely. <laughs> so, Does normal advantage, fire, advantage? Uh, just, just a normal athletics. All right. Do I take fire damage? Uh, not necessarily. If I roll that? We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. All right. 18, 18. plus four. All right. So, so you read, you step over between a few people and just like reach over you rip the canvas off of the uh, stall and, and it's still it's a blaze so you and you whip it right down to the ground and just stomp it out and oh yeah and the Can people are like whoa 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 <laughs> like, kind of like startled oh, as like you, this massive woman has come out of nowhere to just stomp out this fire <laughs> and the the guy at the stall is like, ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you, you know, in, in retrospect, maybe having oil canvas isn't such the, a great idea when uh, when it's not raining. Uh, it's usually supposed to just keep the the rain off, but I didn't expect my stall to ever go up in blazes. Little lesson for you, little man. Little man. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> Normally, I would be very offended, but you know what? I thank, thank you. <laughs> Wait, was it a lady? <laughs> no, it, 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 was, it, was, it was a guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like normally, I would take offense to that, but otherwise, due to the it. circumstances of you being an enormous woman, I do not take offense right. to the little. You man. know what? No, you know what? He he says he says that he doesn't take offense, and I'm gonna look at um. On my shoulder, I'm gonna be like, Snyder. "Is that a woman?" <laughs> <laughs> can't tell from up here. You know, I, I, I can't. I don't know. Ain't too far down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Meanwhile, back with Tonga. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you see uh, Chibi and Akisu rush by as you're just kind of contemplating this uh, broken stall. Right. And uh, how close am I to the stall that's on fire? Uh, maybe about 80 feet away. Okay, cool. So I can, like, see it. And I would see Akisu, like, run up, rip the thing, you know, like, I'm in line of sight for that. And yeah. See all that go down? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go. Hey, TV, real quick. Think you can fix this stall, <laughs> <laughs> or do you think it's like beyond repair? What do I think with my expertise? Uh, yeah. You you like look it at it, like and uh, you, as a master shipwright, you're just like, I could fix that. That wouldn't be too. Take you like ten minutes, like. <laughs> yeah, it, it would take. Yeah, I could fix minutes. it. Because you, you still have your tools on you because you were at the ship. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I don't tell you about it. In the, I'm gonna I'm gonna squat again. so I can hear people. 
<laughs> you're you're kind of far, so I'm just talking to. Oh no, no, I'm gonna like walk over to you guys oh. and like squat next to you guys so yeah, I can yeah. hear what's going on. <laughs> I like, just like the idea. Get just, everybody like, the, the guy, like do that. Uh, well, that little anime squat where they just kind of like uh, just <laughs> get like down real low. Yeah, so I'm gonna be like, yeah, the the thug squat. Yeah. Wait, so Snyder is with you now? He's on my shoulder. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Did, like, you find, did you find the little fucker? Like, I heard the upbeat. <laughs> like, what happened? Y'all stop looking for him? Where's Caligore? <laughs> Caligore went to go look for him. I went to go investigate the skull. The, the skull. Okay. The stall. Since both of us are together now, I guess. I was like, I saw some weird, you know, small, tiny man run away from this crash, you know, stall. So I sent Caligore and Snyder to go find him. <laughs> yeah, Snyder found, here with us? <laughs> found the problem over there. Yeah, yeah Snyder ran into you know, the fire, I guess. So I'm glad you guys got that resolved. That's cool. I wonder if, uh, hope Caligore was able to wonder that little guy was where's the but... tiny man meanwhile yeah, with Calgore. you mean there's tinier men me, me. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a mouse to you oh my god me, yeah. meanwhile when like uh, Stuart little uh, i wonder <laughs> what's doing all he, everyone hears in the distance is people just screaming and murmuring and you just look down and see me start transforming back into a human Giant woman. Yeah, you just kind of like walk behind uh, this one stall, like, ooh, and just like anamorph into a, a human. Ew. I don't know why I had the fucking. Ew. Why I'm, is he trying to hide the fact that he has a devil fruit? <laughs> I'm in a full gallop, and I, I, as I'm running down the road, I just go into a full. Oh, it's like oh, it's full, like uh, Twilight werewolf shifting, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except faster because horses. Wait, so now now he's next to us, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at you and be like, where's the little man? <laughs> yeah, were you able to find him? No, I'm I'm running away, chasing oh, the little oh, yeah, yeah. he's, 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 he's in hot pursuit. Oh, okay. okay. I run to the little man guy. Like as far yeah. as I run to the horse to try to find him. Yeah, you probably got yeah, I'll I'm I'll point you in yeah, the direction that we fast. saw a girl. I'm gonna say, Chibi, go catch up with him. <laughs> I just like hop. It's, it's like sobbing. <laughs> I do that in the anime too. <laughs> they hop. Yeah. It's okay. great. You're waiting for me to go to bed, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Give it ten seconds, you catch up to him. I love her. Yeah, so she just uh, barrels down the way. Uh, while he's in his uh, horse form, he's actually faster than you by only a little bit. Ooh, really? At a full, at a full gallop. That's wow. still like you're almost as fast as a galloping horse, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That, that well, now that they've gotten that taken care of, what do we do now? I don't think I can keep up with them. I, um, you can help me bring. The stuff back to the ship. You guys know? just picks it up. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now that yeah. you know, we, we had Calgor, you know, pulling this cart, but you know, now you can help me bring it back. Yeah, he can pull some stuff, and I'll just carry the other stuff. Calgor's gone. You know, oh shit! Here, you're right. right. <laughs> you, you know what? Now just I'm gonna load, have you load pull it all up on the cart, and I'll just carry the cart. <laughs> or just pull it along like a little wagon. Unless we don't give a fuck about the cart. Yeah, it's like a wagon to you, but huh? like, put it yeah. in your shoe. In my shoe. <laughs> well, as I'm as I'm galloping down the road, I just you PB is close behind, but she just sees me keep going like that down alleys. And she You see you're like fucking leaping off of walls and shit. Like, <laughs> we, make, we make eye contact and I slow down just enough for her to catch up and get on my back so when we're close enough she can just let's go <laughs> All right. do a summer song there you go hell yeah it's like a literal pommel horse <laughs> exactly I feel like my ears are like 
twitching, like listening <laughs> for little feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Chibi, being uh, as dexterous and masterful with your jumping as you are, you you managed to catch up and leap onto his back, no problem. Like you, you don't even my... need to roll for that shit. Nice. Do I need to roll to pick up this stuff? No, no. Like, all right, <laughs> it's just a normal task. Like, you just pick it up. It, it's oh, a little. I didn't know. Heavy. I didn't know if it was like a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like it, it. It is a lot, but at the same time, you're also like a twelve foot tall woman. So you just like you, you just kind of pick it up. But, but kind of like how the, they do over at the Walmart, you just pick up a good old box. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is like a what, box. What is a? What is like right. a wagon for a horse to pull? It's like a fucking wheelbarrow for you yeah yeah like, you just like <laughs> you like those like, little red flyer wagon yeah like a kid with a radio flyer you just you could just like yeah. flip it around push it or pull, <laughs> however you want to do um i'm gonna carry it on my shoulder i'm just gonna carry it like this yeah just like yeah, uh, there you go. i i feel that like i do that all the time with like heavy shit <laughs> from the cards like it's so much shoulder. easier to carry instead of like carrying it in front it really is. Yeah. I carry like 80 pounds that way. I don't care. Like, cause you said it was like a little heavy, right? For me. Yeah. But so, yeah, that, that would make sense for her to like do that instead. Yeah. Meanwhile, back with uh, Chibi and uh, Calgore. I'm using the bathroom real quick. How close? Are, like the. the, the ooh, ooh, ooh. I'd you say know, uh, you've managed to, like, since you saw where he was going after the fire, you were just kind of like, Trying to head him off just a little bit, so you've managed to keep pace. Oh, you got line of sight? Well, I wouldn't know this. But like... <laughs> and you, and, and yeah, go ahead. I'm galloping so fast, I'm able to like actually talk with Chibi, and no, they won't realize that I'm the one talking if we run by someone. Yeah, yeah. True. I, I, I turn my head and look up at her. Do you see anything yet? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. Make a perception check. Hey, you can. Ah. Ah. Hooray for perceptions. 20. Uh, oh, I, shit. Not 20. I, I like how it had a little sound. <laughs> that was great. Oh, no, great. Damn, oh, that 20. Oh. Holy shit! Wait, what happened? I see him. You see him standing you on top of uh, Calgore, like a <laughs> almost like you're surfing on a horse. Yeah, you just <laughs> kind of like a you zero in on it. You, you see this little guy because like you're used to moving fast, so seeing fast moving things not a problem for you. And, and she said, it, "It's How zigzagging far through the the crowd, and then it just darts down an alleyway." She says she sees him, and at just before he, he's about to dart, I I tell Chibi to jump. I transform back into human form, grab yeah. her, just launch her towards it. Oh, I was literally right. just going to say that, that too. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, damn, I don't know how I want to rule that one. Acrobatic. Do I athletic? Uh, uh, we're going to go with acrobatics because. Uh, that's more dexterous. Uh, actually, you can choose. Each well, of you can choose either or. Well, I rolled yeah. it. So what would it be? Acrobatics or what? Either 13. acrobatics or or athletics. Well, where it would be kind of like a gymnastic feat. I feel like it would be acrobatics. Normal advantage, disadvantage. Just uh, just normal. Probably acrobatics for her. Athletics for him. Yeah, I, I keep I keep it open because like uh, for him it it's more of a like okay I, I'm doing this uh, maneuver strength based with her it's more of a dex based thing. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. So you just you shape shift midair, kind of like giving a little twist and just like throwing her down the alleyway. <laughs> and she's just kind of like a, able to bounce off the walls like boom boom boom. And all okay. she hears. Crashing into another stall behind her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not looking where you're going, so you just end up barreling into uh, some crates, <laughs> and you just hear like a loud crack and a break of <laughs> you break of wood. 
uh, at behind you as you're kind of like flying down the alleyway and you actually get ahead of this little uh, guy. He doesn't see you going above him. Oh, oh. you fucking barrel over him. <laughs> I love it. Can I just like. Yeah. Pounce Ooh. onto him and cuff him, up? him You know what? You're, how, you're, t- uh, how small is he? Yeah, how small? Is- We're talking like, uh, you know, maybe the size of a uh, guinea pig. Oh. Like yeah, if a guinea pig is standing like up about that em. big. Oh, I'm tiny little fucker. Yeah. <laughs> like the size of an ant compared to Akizu. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yeah, literally, bro. <laughs> She's like, I don't see anything. <laughs> so you, you go to kind of like pout as you're coming in, like a you you're just like you're going for it, you're going for it, and then like a, you don't exactly catch him right away, but like you just land on him. Yeah. And you just like you kind like, of roll uh, and you you feel like something squirm underneath you as you're on top of it. I'd be like, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and it, you, you feel it squirm and struggle a little bit. It's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> don't die. And I come, I come running down the alley with just brushing off dust. You got it. I got it. <laughs> Are you still in horse form? <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> he transforms. I, th- out I need of it. you to specify from now on, or we're gonna keep asking. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think that's gonna be a rule for his him as a zombie type. <laughs> Remember, I, in the human form, grabbed her and launched Chibi yeah. down. The alley. Oh right. Yeah. So Sorry. I'm in. Makes sense, makes sense. All right. Help. <laughs> and you just find <laughs> he's wiggling. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you find Chibi Usa just kind of like uh a- almost like she's crouched on the ground like a bunny, like a kind of like a haunched up and like it's almost like a fetal <laughs> position, but she's just like kind of got this like little nestled underneath her and arms all bunched up trying to prevent it from escaping. <laughs> I just reach down with one hand and say, here, give it here. I grab it and I just. <laughs> yeah. You, and you kinda like a, she kind of like opens up a little bit and then like a, you kind of reach in with your man hand and grab this, this little dude. Right. And I'm we're just walking down the road with it in our hands like this. Yeah. And I figure just because like you got you're like eight feet tall. So you're just like, OK, I got. It fits in your hands, and you can just kind of like feel, uh, kind of like struggling, just like almost like a cat. Yeah, Nick. And we just, get halfway. Yeah, so as we're, uh, GB just hears, hears me just gr- mumbling under my breath because it's, it, whatever it is, is either stabbing my hand or biting my hand. Is it? With the it's scrappy. Yeah, you feel it, kind of like a. Muscling around, trying to, and like a, a almost like a little, like you said, like a, it's like trying to stab at it, kind of like a bite a little bit, but if it, you you hold strong, like you're passively way stronger than this thing. <laughs> I will uh, make a couple rolls on my end though. Um, it it tries to burst out. Uh, make a uh, make a strength save. A strength save. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this will be a contested. Uh, normal, uh, right? Yeah, actually, for you, it'd be advantage. No, oh, I already rolled the oh, normal. Nat twenty. Who, who hey, cares? You got. We it. don't need it. <laughs> you have an iron grip on this thing. It, it you, you feel it? Uh, try real hard. It, it just like you hear almost a depressed sigh come from <laughs> your hand. <laughs> That's right, little fucker. Try escape again. If it happens. I'll throw you. <laughs> All right. So, what do you do now? Uh, uh, I, th- I think about this time we're over back at the ship. Well, will we'll, we'll we have like caught up with each other? Yeah, everyone was right. pretty much trying to meet up at the ship because you had the supplies and you three. Right. right. <laughs> All right. So, everyone meets up back at the ship. 
I I see them and I'm like, hey, did you catch him? We got a little man. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still holding him like this? Yes. Yeah. You, you see him approach with like his hands just like clasped, uh, like a like a child holding a grasshopper. <laughs> I'm just like hopping. Do you think if I put him in my boot, he could jump out? <laughs> Why you want to put the man in lived boot? in a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just with your boots. Just <laughs> I don't know. Show. Like, because they're just big. <laughs> and Have I you feel seen like I her, the boots in her character <laughs> art? <laughs> That's true. And they go up to my fucking knee, dog. She's stacked, bro. <laughs> Dude, I could wear her b- one boot as a pair of pants. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but l- listen, I need you to roll for this because I want to put it in my boot to keep him from escaping. <laughs> Why are you like this all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> okay, are are you going to do that, or are you going to try to keep him in your hands? Like, uh, what what's your play? I mean, he's trying to escape, right? Uh, I I we get there, and I I say, hey, Doc, you might want to take a look at him. He hasn't moved in a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he, he's a physician. My little man. It's a trick. <laughs> don't, don't open your hands. <laughs> Opens up to saying, a bloody pole. We need to like, oh, no! make sure he can't well, escape. Uh, as as, as you run off, over, we need to interrogate him. I, I assume we have like a box that we could put it in. Right. No, I I just have like a little hole right there where he can breathe. Oh, yeah. we got can't get out or something, or like a little like you know bird cage we could put it in. <laughs> Bird cage, bird cage. Hey Doc, take a look. Is he still breathing? He just kind of sticking my eye up to that hole. <laughs> I don't want to get stabbed in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold open the bird cage. Take a little stick and poke it in there. If it comes back, he's alive. <laughs> I have alchemist supplies. Would it be uh what I what, have, like, what is this? Like, is it a person? Is it talking? What's going on? We need to put it in it. something so we can talk to it. <laughs> Just get it. He has it in his hands. <laughs> he does. All and right, it, so I'm, I'm gonna he like. He has a cage ready. Why don't we put it in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's put it in the cage. I'm just, I'm just gonna Give grab. Me the man. I'm just gonna grab Killigore's hand and be like, "Who are you? And what do you want?" <laughs> <laughs> this is your captain speaking. <laughs> what are your numbers and where are they? Where are they? Who are you kidnapped. working for? While everyone's like scrambling for to put it in whatever, I'm just gonna ask it. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I will find you. <laughs> what if it doesn't speak English? Well, then I, now we know. Is it even talking? Like I, I don't know. Hello. Like I said, it hasn't moved. Wait, everybody, is be it, quiet. And did you say hello? Hello. <laughs> Hello? Who are you? My name is Darius. What do you what do you do, Darius? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> uh that that really depends. But all I know is that it's very dark and sweaty in here. Listen, did you cause those fires? Now that's that depends. All right. Tell the- or I'm squeezing. Uh, okay, okay, we did. <laughs> you said what? He's like, okay, okay, we did. Who's we? Uh, I, I mean, I did. Listen, if you don't tell me the truth right now, I'm gonna eat you. Oh, oh you. fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is we? Uh, me. Yeah. And a few no, of my cousins. We. Yeah, we. Yeah, we. That's me and a few of my cousins. How many is you? Four. Are they all your side? Yes. Remember, if you tell us the wrong answer, you're either going out two ways her stomach or becoming a pancake in my hand. I mean, that's the. And you know yeah, what happens know. after the stomach. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, um, well, you see, I, we, me me and my cousins, we uh, were sold 
So to, to this guy. And he then sold us to another guy, and it's been kind of a long transactional period. And then we escaped, and then we ended up finding uh, uh, this other guy that that runs a stall in the local market, and uh, he, he was re really wanted to like uh, to stop some. He wanted to start some discontent, and uh, you know. <laughs> But well, we don't really know the exact details of why. Just he was paying us to, he was going to help us get to our home by just like a, you know, having us. Here. Where's let's, your home? Let's all, let's all calm down for a minute. Let's let him out of your hands. We'll set you on the table. You know, nobody's going anywhere. Surely you're not going to, you're not going to run away. It's I'm okay. He doesn't. He doesn't need a cage. It's fine, right? Listen, listen. We're gonna let you out, but if you run away, we'll yeah. catch you. We already caught you before. I'll I'm catch you. Yeah. I got a cage. Yeah. You don't want to go on this cage, right? <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, no, no. If I could just be put down, that'd be, that'd be very. Let's let him out. I want to, and then I want to get a good look at this person thing. I'll let him. I'll only let it so he can breathe. And I'm just holding him like this. <laughs> Put him on the damn table. Child like, <laughs> holding a hamster. I'll just slap like, you. <laughs> it, As he uh, moves his hand, it reveals this little uh, uh, brown haired uh, little man with a pointy nose and a little hat. Uh, he's just got, got like the, the, his, his body's got like rather chubby features and thin arms. And Are you an elf? The fuck's an elf? <laughs> is this a is this a mole man? N no, no, I don't. Are you a pixie? No, no. I mean, I, I, I've heard that term used for us before. I mean, uh, what whatever you is call it, it is it a racist term? Are you? Kind of no? uh, I'm not sure. Are you a good little man? Um. Maybe? I mean, that does oh, I mean, yeah, is kind of subjective. At, looking at your acrobatics check that you did earlier, why wow, there's so many pluses? <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> so plus I, four plus four, four plus. <laughs> I, I think it might have been like, maybe she like rolled low and then just like she has a bunch of good bonuses. Interesting. I, I, I rolled a three. Go. But I have a I, plus ten. Damn. I set him down on the table and walk off the ship. I'll be back. I'm getting some booze. <laughs> Just like, I'm done with this shit. He called my hands sweaty. <laughs> I'm getting something to drink. I'm going to look down at this man. I'm going to be like, I'm sorry he was holding you like that. Something, something's wrong with this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to kind of yeah. wanna take a seat on the table. I'm just gonna kind of look at him and be like, "What are you doing setting fires?" Oh, uh, I was hired to do that. To uh... were you hired or were you told by the man that owns you? Yeah, yeah, yeah we were told. Yeah, but he also said that he was sold to multiple people. Yeah, it's yeah. so it's been a long <laughs> history. Uh, just Where's your home? Honestly, we're not really sure at this point. Like, uh, me and uh, a few of my cousins, we were were hiding in uh, what a, a basket, no, like just a, one of you big people baskets. Then, Is it normal people baskets or my basket? Normal. No one has baskets. Like, <laughs> I, I think they're called like muffin nope. baskets. No right. basket for you is normal. All right. <laughs> That's a boat. <laughs> like a basket for her is just like. It's just uh, a rowboat. <laughs> a whole thing. <laughs> oh, look, look down at the little man. So, so what are you? Uh, we're called uh, Tonanta. Uh, what Tatanda? What the? Tontada. Tontada. Yeah, that's the. I forgot how to pronounce it for a moment. What does he look like? People. He's got like a, this big old, like a weird, uh, almost like kind of a tailish thing uh, behind him. A pointed nose, like very sharp pointed nose. Um, and oh, I see. I'm looking 
Is that okay? Okay. Oh, you, you looked it up. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a little person. They're just tiny. With like a yeah. Baby. Yeah. They're like little beetle people. I don't think any of us would know what they were because they were kind of like a hidden race. Yeah. yeah. I, need a, you... I need a good description of what this boy looks like. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have included that earlier, but Sorry. basically, uh, he's looking around and just like, yeah. So we we were trying to hide. From some big people like yourselves in a basket. And then someone grabbed that basket. I, I guess they must have been in the Marines or something. And uh, some, we just kept going and going and hiding in there. And then the, the basket was sold to some people. Did they know you were in there? Uh, no, not at first. And then. Th those people, they found out that we were in here, uh, in there, and he, uh, they, they thought we were valuable, so they sold us to the people in the black market. I, I, I we tried to research some stuff and, and, and didn't realize that there were so many oceans in the world. I guess uh, we were from somewhere in the Grand Line, I think. Not, not, not precisely sure. Oh, where? Well, what a coincidence! We're going to the Grand Line. Let's really? find your cousins, and you can come with us. Yeah. How, how about this? You help us, and we'll help you. You help us figure out. Uh, who make a uh, persuasion get check. Fire to the stalls. All right. Oh, I gotta find persuasion. Normal. Yeah. He looks at you skeptically. Nine. Yeah, he looks at you skeptically. He's like, you're going to the Grand Line. Yeah. Where else would we go? Uh, any Weird people's place? honor. Weird people's honor. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like gives you like a bit of a nod. Like, y you know what? That he. It's like, I've, I've never seen a one of your kind or... A woman so big, like m most women are big to me. So, but, but this certainly we could is easily a be day. a spectacle too, and sold and traded, and we don't want to be. We want to be he, free. So he, he looks yeah. over at Tonga, and he's like, "Oh, well, you know what?" It, it's kind of like a realization kind of dawns on him. Like, okay, so maybe I am among people that are different. So maybe we can reach some kind of understanding. Uh. Alright, here's the dealio. You see this ship we're standing on? You see how it's half built? Yeah. It... We're we're trying to get supplies so we could sail out of here. And we're trying to collect this bounty of what was it? It's a uh, forty the gang uh, leaders. E uh, the each of the uh, pirate captains on the island has a bounty of about uh, forty five million. All right, so we really just need one. Yeah. So it, we we're trying to collect at least one bounty well, of one of these pirate to, uh, captains them on this kind island. Of collapse each other. Oh yeah, that was the plan. Already, already I mean, that's right. kind of what I was doing already. I I was trying to uh, provoke a bit of a uh, confrontation, sabotage one stall here, make it look like they did it. Sabotage one stall over there. Make it look like uh, they did it. So we got in the way of our own plan. Well, so we, well, we got in the way of someone else's plan. We had a more civil route. They had a more anarchist <laughs> route. <laughs> Fucking as, anarchists going around smashing uh, fruit carts. <laughs> and as little dudes explaining what he was doing, I I come both all out of breath. Where did you go? I went, to go, and get snacks. I went to go get I went to go get booze. <laughs> went to the what corner store. Him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, what snacks you got? We brought, we brought I, barrels with us. <laughs> for the trip. I was being smart. I went and got booze, but then All I right. come. Yeah, he's I got come, Doritos and shit. <laughs> I come running back, no booze, all out of breath. 
That's crazy. Mini donut. (sighs) They have Rory. Like the mini man. What? They got Rory? Rory. What? Who? I just saw a group of pirates with Rory all tied up, headed up that cliff. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) That's true. I don't know. One of them, one of them had someone bigger than Captain. One of them had what? Uh, I'm gonna have bigger you make than... a roll for me. Are you are you lying? <laughs> uh, are you what? lying? Are you lying? lying? <laughs> nat twenty again? What the hell? Yeah, bro, I got a nat twenty. Wait, uh, guys. Are you me? Keep check. <laughs> 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 all of us? Do I have to roll? Uh, I just want to know <laughs> are, uh, uh, what, what's the play here? With... Huh? Uh, <laughs> it keeps cutting in and out. Uh, what, 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 was the, what was the goal with the, the, the Rory thing? So he, so he came in and said that Rory was being tied up and One of carried the... away. I One wanted of- to roll an inside check to see if what he's saying is honest. I rolled a nap 20. So you you telling me the truth? Yes. Lead the way. All right. And so yeah. We're we're headed off off the boat. And I I point to them in the direction where I saw them, so we end up walking. So we're walking off the boat. I saw them to the right of us. So we start walking that way. All right. So Can I try to Chibi... sneak through the sides? Yeah, I'm going to send Chibi on ahead. Ooh, so the scouting. Kind of I love it. Yeah. And I'm going to also take the little man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, take him with yeah Chibi, watch after him. Make sure he doesn't get it's hurt. My little man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I mean, imagine how good the thing will be for scouting. Yeah. Make sure Darius doesn't get hurt so we can find Literal his cousins and get him wall. home. Literally. <laughs> yes. I'll find your cousins, little man, I promise. His name is Darius. Nah. <laughs> He's little just a little man. Little man. Is he offended by little man? No, he, he, he's, he knows exactly. Like, as far as he's concerned, y'all are just big. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just extra big. He's funny. <laughs> And okay. as Chibi as Chibi takes off, I holler, "It's the first cliff you see on our left." And you just kind of like a, you know the island, uh, fair enough. After a bit, so you kind of just go on down, uh, weaving through uh, people on the uh, sides of the like towards the docks uh, to kind of like go around because <laughs> you know that there's a good cliffside past the the shipyard. How tall is that cliff? I'd say it's a six, seven stories up, roughly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good, good hillside kind of cliff. Each story is about like thirty. Six, six, no, not six. <laughs> so as, as we're also following up, I do want to let you know. Wait, what time of day is it? Uh, it is uh mid afternoon. Was like getting dark? Not quite yet. Oh, okay, okay. Um. No, no reason. Go ahead. It's us. <laughs> well, maybe it was like nighttime because I have really good dark vision. <laughs> you, you're just a you're a nightlight. You don't even need the dark vision. Yeah. <laughs> because of uh, one of my new perks, I have dark vision of 120 feet. Oh shit, that's really good. Damn. So you're a nightlight for those around you. You can just see really good. I just light up. <laughs> <laughs> like how I imagine, is... like how cats have like the internal like lights in there. You know that makes sense. I don't think that's how cat's eyes work, but I, I get the idea. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah, what you mean. I know what you're getting at. So hey, yes. Before we, no, never mind. It's not necessary. Sus. Oh, huh? sus. Everybody's sus. sus. <laughs> <laughs> Is this cliff climbable? Uh, you can certainly try. Yeah, but 
with my abilities. Do I like think I can climb? Don't worry, I'll catch you. Wait, do you have a climb speed? No, she does. I don't think I do. Yeah, 20, 20 feet. 20 feet. Yeah. In that case, yeah, you, you don't really need to make any, uh, you don't really need to make that much of a climb check because you, you got a climb speed. So you you're just like, like you're I'm going to climb. I'm going to circle like around the cliff and try to start climbing. How do I know mm. if I have a climb speed? And normally it's under movement. Movement? The gear next to movement. Yeah. Uh, your uh, climb speed is typically like half of whatever your movement is. But if you don't like n innately have a climb speed, no, then it's just one. like you'll have to make a check. Right. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, it's like a like a proficiency, thing. Like he's extra good. Yeah, it's just like it's kind of like how like having a fly speed. You're you're just flying. wait. So you said the climb speed is usually half your movement. Yes. Mine is. Yeah. So mine and her, mine and Chibi's are the same. <laughs> I'll, I'll, <laughs> because I have a forty well. feet movement. You like R twenty feet. Does that even count? Um, <laughs> yeah. Like reaching up. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know that makes uh, sense. I'm just like, and you're like, yeah, ring. <laughs> I'll call the was. I think about if you're like your dash, your timing action, and stuff like that, you can go really fast. Yeah. So eight Mobile stories would be about eighty feet. Yeah. Are there are there any like small cliffs in between that and eighty feet? Uh, no. I mean, like, there's little crags and uh, uh, spots uh, all along the cliffside, but like, maybe well, like as a... we're running up the road, do we see anything? Uh, make a perception check. Also, while I climb, I put the little man on my head like a chewy. And he's just kind of like <laughs> a grabbing, uh, holding on to one of your ears. I got. Are all of us doing perception? Uh, yep. Uh, 11. Okay. So, oh. Yeah, as you, uh, oh, who got the nat one? Ooh. It was me. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I got an 11. I got an 8. I can't really have a 4. Yeah, uh, y'all can't really tell from this distance as it's pretty high up. Y you I think something's like you can hear like some faint shout shouting, but you can't really make out what's being said. Hmm. From where? You think you can hear some faint shouting from uh, the top? Couldn't oh. she be her ears? Well, <laughs> she's focused on the climbing. She's climbing, man. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, we'll take our time to get up there, you know, as fast as we can. Mm. Mm. Uh, just a moment. Double movement and everything. <laughs> Full sprints. Right? Right. Would this be a bad would this be a bad time to change into my horse form and sprout the wings? Uh, I don't see uh I don't see why it would be. Depends on why. I'm from all I'm angles. Not, it depends like, on if we're trying to be sneaky or not. I guess. How? How? It's not going to take like that long. All of our full movements to get over there. Like, I don't know if you need to do a transform. Well, I I can take one person and go to the very peak. This is true. And working down. I mean, Chibi is already climbing up the side. For Chibi and Akisu, right? You're both climbing up the side already. No, I think it's just Chibi and. Yeah, I think it was just Chibi. Yeah, it's and just Chibi with the little, little dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Darius. And then it's me and you yeah. running up the road. I guess I'll I'm just, just kind of at the bottom looking at her climb. I'll just change into regular horse form. And before I do that, I look at Tonga and say, hop on. Yeah, I'll... Like one hand, like put myself up to him, get on his back. Nice. All right. Strong. As uh, as you guys get to the top of the cliff, let's see. Right. Bro, these are like the toasted cheeses. These are really good. I love you, Bridget. I love you, Bridget. 
Sam said he loves you too. I love you, Sam. She said she loves you. Hey. She made me spinach. All right. Ooh. So you. as you get to the oh uh, top God. of the cliff, you, you <clears throat> start... Uh, Chibi, you, you'll see this first. You see a, a whole bunch of uh, pirates uh, with this uh, with Rory just kind of like a tied up. And we are going to end it right there. Oh boy! And continue next time, just because uh, we did a little bit uh, later than we usually do, and uh, try to keep things straight with the time frame. So, how far up did I get? Uh, you got, uh, okay, uh, Chibi, you, you managed to get all the way to the top. I'm, like, gonna stand, or I guess hold on to the side. I don't want to completely be visible. Yeah, like, you're just kind of, like, peeking up over the edge. Are you gonna, uh, put your ears down? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I gotta remember to do that. <laughs> I look over, what are those? 